using this roll-up schema designer in the Alert Plus web part, you can filter your source data using a camel query. And uh, that's a pretty powerful feature. But sometimes the problem with camel is that you can't see right away if you made a mistake in your camel query. The way you usually see that you made a mistake is maybe you don't get the alert messages that you think you should, or your list rollup doesn't include the data that you thought it would. So one uh, way around that is um, you can build a list view uh, with a filter in SharePoint out of the box. And when you do that, you can actually see the data. So for example, I have a tasks list here. It's got three items. Um, but I have a view that I created that shows my overdue tasks. And so I see one item in it. And uh, if we look at that, the filter on that view, you'll see that it's kind of complex as far as camel goes. It's, um, it's assigned to is equal to me, due date is equal to today, and or due date is less than today, and uh, task status is not equal to completed. So I built that with the out-of-the-box SharePoint list view, and I want to get the camel of that view because I know that returns the item that I want. So uh, I want to show you a way to do that. And uh, the secret is with our list rollup classic web part. So I put uh, one of our list rollup classic web parts on a web part page in my site pages document library. So let's go there. This is our list rollup classic edition. It's um, it's a web part that's been around for a while. Uh, most people today use the list rollup schema designer to build rollups, but uh, this web part has a nice feature called get view query. So what I can do is I can uh, put in the URL of the site where I built that out-of-the-box list view that I like. And so here it's on my current site. It's in my tasks list, and it's called My Overdue Tasks. And once I load that into the List Rollup Classic Edition, what I can do is I can get View Query. And once I have that, as you can see, um, then I can grab it copy it to my clipboard and go paste it into my schema designer or my alert plus web part and use this camel rather than having to build something with uh, the uh, user ID or uh, using the today variable. So this is a, uh, a little known trick that you can use get view query in the list roll up classic edition.